Do you have a pet plant named Maurice, or prefer to stare at trees instead of climbing them? Then it might interest you to know that there's a scientific study of plants called botany. It may surprise you, but we didn't start off studying plants, despite their multitude of colors and sizes. We did learn very early on that plants could provide us with delicious foods and a safe place to sleep at night, but botany is said to have started only about 2300 years ago, even though we've shared our existence with plants for over 2 million years. So how did botany begin? We began recording the uses of plants during the Neolithic Revolution. It marked the end of our wandering, hunter-gathering lifestyle and the beginning of our settlement in agricultural or farming communities. These communities developed methods of domesticating plants for food, and in conjunction with the development of written communication, many uses of plants could be recorded for future generations. But at this point, we weren't actually studying plants. It was still important that we were able to jot down their many uses so we could better equip our farmers. Because better farms meant more food, which meant less people needed to focus on making food. They could focus on other things, like innovating towards more efficient forms of transportation, or staring at trees named Maurice. Theophrastus, a Greek scholar and student of Aristotle, designated his time to exploring the curiosities of plant life. He eventually wrote two extensive works on the plant kingdom, Historia Plantarum and Causae Plantarum around 300 BCE, and collectively they detailed the locations, sizes, growth patterns, and practical applications of over 500 plants. They were the first of their kind. No one had thought to document the elements of so many plants before, and it was through these works that Theophrastus unwittingly sowed the seeds of modern botany. This was no small feat, but would you expect anything less from the father of botany?